and here comes Run Stoppable. I'm in, I'm in shock here. I don't know who. Two weird things have happened tonight. The first one was Crip defeating Andrew Morgan in 10 seconds. Not even 10 seconds. And then the next one was this mystery guy coming out of nowhere. Fight Michael Miguel and Kelly and then attacked him after the match with the steel chair despite Husky Harris's interference during the match. Because he ran Husky Harris out of the Like, straight up out. The arena. At least out of the ringside area. But I wonder who Ron's opponent is going to be tonight. seen this man in weeks but it looks like he's back and he is it's the undertaker look at that blank stare One of the most intimidating entrances in history of wrestling, period. Whether it's ultra-violent, professional wrestling, this is the most intimidating entrance. Just turned into maybe into a disaster for Ron Stoppable. The Undertaker actually gave a damn, but actually maybe have given mercy to Ron Stoppable. But this Undertaker, I don't think so. I've seen him turn his back on the fans and then leave. And now he's back. Here we go, the match starts. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Ron's not backing down. Wait a minute, look at, Wait a minute, Ron! And he gets the first shot on with the DDT. Ron not wasting any time here. Oh, and a kick right to the leg. Now to the top rope. The for months already no. The knees up by the Undertaker. I can't believe this is a no disqualification. Undertaker throws him in the ropes. Oh, big boot. Cover. Undertaker going for the cover. One, two, two and no. Undertaker is looking to defeat the King of Extreme here? Champion in a it's right hand. The face of the Undertaker as he delivers this kind of punishment. To oh, and another right hand. You get into the ring with the Undertaker. Undertaker, one of the best pure Undertaker strikers. Universe. In this business, another right hand, straight right hand to the chest and to the face. Remember, this is a no On a clothesline in the corner. High impact, no mistakes. That's a oh man, slams him down. If you haven't done it yet, check out www.com. You'll find updates. Now he hangs him upside down. We still don't know what Undertaker's motives for 
turning his back on the fans were. He has Undertaker has nothing to prove. Oh, a snake eyes! And he bounces off the ropes. Oh, and he, he went for a clothesline, but that didn't turn out that good. And Ron went for a shoulder block, and that didn't turn out that good. Double fail. Oh, Ron, reversal. What's this on? Oh, neck break. Back breaker. I know a neck breaker. Back neck breaker. Oh, a moonsault kick. He usually follows that, follows that up with... And it's not gonna be a DDT, it's gonna be a reverse neck breaker. On another moonsault kick. Oh, and a wheel kick. Ron using those kicks to his advantage here. And oh, moonsault, look, uh, reverse neck breaker. Undertaker. Now, Undertaker, oh, big boot. Oh, and another big boot. Now he just grabs him by his throat. And another failed clothesline. Oh, and a back body drop. Oh, and just throws Ron out the ring. We're talking about tables, ladders, chairs, and canes. Ron not, might not even make it to tables, ladders, chairs, and canes after the Undertaker is done with it. Now he's got a steel chair. Steel chair, no, Ron takes it off of him. Ron takes the steel chair. Oh, wait. And oh, the right hand. And then a chop block. Wait up the top rope here. Moon sold all the way to the outside. He nailed it. Cover. One, a two, and a three. No. It's all okay in this one. No disqualification. Oh, just throws. He just threw 